was so posh, he went to the same school as Mumford and Sons. Imagine going to the same school as Mumford and Sons and still being the most boring cunt that went there. <laughs> Hi guys, well firstly, happy Christmas. Merry Christmas, Harriet. Happy Christmas to you. <laughs> I really like your jumper. Thank you very much, it was provided by production. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I could, I guess that. Um, <laughs> did you, and I love your suit, everyone was so mean about your suit, I was complimenting on it earlier. I know, people keep thinking that I'm wearing a costume, this is how I dress. <laughs> I kind of like your look actually, it's sort of like a Jimmy Carr drag tribute act. <laughs> you know, right? I've got a few words to say to you about the things that you said to my husband. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Um, it was quite cruel. <laughs> um, accurate, <laughs> maybe, but, uh, but but really cruel. I'm yeah. sorry to insinuate that you were a rebound from a lubed up room <laughs> with a single mattress. Thank you. I really appreciate that apology. <laughs> that apologize. means a lot. Yeah, it took him a long time to get over that relationship. <laughs> Some of you may be surprised to find out that Bobby has a wife. Uh, we were all very shocked to see him leave his previous long-time partner, who was a lubed up rip in his single mattress. <laughs> I miss her. <laughs> Your family got brought up? Yeah, nanny dying, my uncle dying. I mean, yeah, all of those things were brought up. <laughs> Must have felt great. Yeah. yeah, and not only that, that my comedy was so shit they wanted to die. I mean, yeah, I'm laughing at remembering the joke. Yeah, he just really wanted to win. It was very good. It was <laughs> yeah. very good. Last year, Susie's nan died, her uncle died, and then her girlfriend left her. That is a lot of people that ran out of excuses to not come to her shit shows. How did you prepare this time? Was there any particular preparations? There was a line that Susie did where she said, I have it on good authority that he has a teeny weeny penis. I know, I was going to ask, how do you feel about that? I mean, I'd, A, I don't have it on good authority. That's just all I wanted to know. Thank I've heard well. it's huge. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard it's too big. <laughs> it's, look, just to put this to bed now, it's fine. <laughs> you, you look like so many women I've slept with. And I have it on, I have it on quite good authority. You have a teeny penis. <laughs> So small it could pass for a clitoris. Uh, <laughs> it's an indication of your white male privilege that you won't let lesbians have that one look. <laughs> what are you going to do with the trophy? Um, put it up his bum? Yeah, put it up my <laughs> bum, apparently. Great. That's still great. roasting, yeah. bitches. Yeah. Here she goes. She can't stop this lady. How wonderful that there is finally a victory for the white man. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. What are you going to go and do now? I don't know. Hug somewhere? We're going to go and have a lovely hug. And, and have some yeah. KFC. And then yeah. we're going to have some KFC and then get absolutely shit-faced. Merry Christmas. <laughs>